Welcome to the Chamber, City of Mount Juliet. Here for a little bit of update. Justin, how are you? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Always uh, glad to be here at the Chamber. Uh, I know that uh, you and the city and us have a great relationship, and uh, let's keep it that way. Let's keep growing it, man. Well, I'll tell you what, this is great, and uh, be a few things we'll just recap from the last one, but there's we got a few new things to talk about, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and get started. As I say, you can only move so much dirt in a month, yeah, but I know there's that's always your... updates to provide. Well, there's plenty of it moving. Hey, there's... Uh, Quite a few things uh, happened since we spoke the last time, and uh, um, I'll let you kind of, if you would, go through maybe the um, stuff from the city side. Um, good news at the police station. That was quite an event. Go yes, ahead. sir. We've been talking about that for a while, and Captain Chandler did a good job of getting us some real dirt to move for our photo op. Uh, that is going to be a magnificent building that's going in front of the existing police building uh, as we speak, and really something that the city... Uh, not only our police officers, but our commissioners, our, really the entire city is going to be proud of. Looking at that being done in probably 16 to 20 months, obviously give or take on that, but uh, something that uh, we're certainly excited about. And if you were able to watch the Facebook Live that day on Facebook Live or YouTube, you found out you know Chief Hamrick's retiring December 15th, and uh, rightfully so, Michael Mullins, our deputy chief, it's going to move up to first in command, well deserved after 25 years at Mount Juliet Police. And then Captain Tyler Chandler, third in command, is going to jump up to our deputy chief, uh, 19 years strong for him. So well deserved. And really, they've spent their entire time uh, with our police force, and it's only right that they're going to continue to lead our city. Big shoes to fill with uh, Chief Hambrick, obviously, but uh, we're, we're um, thankful to have all three and, and their leadership. Well, they've. Uh... They've been, um, as Chief has, very engaged in the community and won't catch anybody by surprise and well-deserved. And uh, I'm always glad to see when they can promote with him. I think that speaks well for the department and their training. And um, um, I think the community is very happy with y'all's decisions. Household so, names, too. Household so names, that's right. They know right. who they're getting so, their leadership from. But uh, I don't know. They're they're going to be quite as snappy of a dresser as James. I don't know. They won't. <laughs> and he does a great blessing. <laughs> he, he does. does a great he blessing. Does. So, uh, um, mentioned the relocation of the fire department over to Clemens Road. I know Chief Fox was talking about that. Yes, sir. And they've got plenty of room to grow. I know they're hiring some more people and uh, some administration and really some paramedics and firefighters as well. But they are on newly uh, owned property by the city on Clemens Road. Um, the old SNS building is what mm -hmm. everybody keeps calling it. Chief Mark Folks has been on the job for a little bit more than a month, wants to get involved in the community and really has a great uh, administration staff that is now housed there. And uh, I think uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff coming from his office in the near future. So stay tuned. Well, that's, a, that's great for the city to be able to put some of their assets, whether it's from the fire department or the police department things that need to be really undercover and security, ATVs, they're side-by-sides side and things like that. So uh, um, good thinking. And uh, you mentioned the promotion. I know that we have a city pickleball tournament coming up. We do. Cedarstone uh, Bank will be our presenting sponsor. We're calling it Pickles for Pups because all the proceeds will benefit uh, the Mount Juliet Animal Shelter. That was not my idea. Uh, that was part of our committee, the Pickles for Pups. Right now, I think when this video airs, we have about 60 people of the 150 that we're looking for. We know a lot of people are probably going to sign up that week. Again, it is October 7th. UT does not play that day, so they won't have a loss on their schedule. Um, they, they'll win that week somehow, some way. But they won't no, lose. They won't lose. They won't lose. $50 per person. Again, uh, pickleball is all the rave. You can get a tournament in. You can get some uh, time on the court, and you can also benefit uh, the Mount Juliet Animal Shelter. So sign up uh, at our Parks and Rec page. Again, presenting spots for Cedar Stone Bank. Uh, love partnering with them. Out at uh, Monday Park? Uh, this will be at Charlie Daniels Charlie Park. Charlie Daniels Park. Uh, okay. Great question. That's, right. that's why we got you here. The, <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, um, another one that uh, Mount Juliet uh, pretty much outdoes all of our neighbors all over Middle Tennessee is our Christmas parade. Yes, sir. Um, we have it on the calendar for Saturday, uh, December the 9th. December the 9th, and we have not announced publicly what the theme will be this year, nor have we announced publicly what the actual grand marshal will be this year um if those that are maybe in tune with what's going on in the city might know about our grand marshal but uh, i mean we still got to promote halloween in the park and a pickleball tournament so many other things happening so 
Um, that will have its time and place probably a little bit later in October. But you're right. Uh, Rocky Lee and his team go uh, A to Z to make sure that that's the best thing around, and, and it always is. Yeah, we'll, uh, maybe by the time we do this, uh, this is pretty much a monthly program. By the time we do the next one, I'll bet the cat will be out of the bag. Uh, let's hope so. Ma right. Maybe we'll do the exclusive here. That's yeah, all right. As, as you say, breaking in my, news. In my contract, I have to give you one exclusive that's thing right. a month. And I like that. That might be it that month. All right. Well, uh, whoever uh, it is, I'm sure they'll be deserving. There's, Absolutely. As uh, Justin was mentioned, always a lot going on at, uh, with the City Parks and Rec. And uh, check out their website. If you haven't been out on the Greenway by Charlie Daniels Park, the weather's perfect now. Take a trip out there. It's uh, fantastic. If you haven't been, you're the one because everybody else has. <laughs> That's right. It's not a place where peace and quiet. It is peace and quiet, but it's not a place where you won't run into everybody and their mama yeah. walking for sure. Yeah, quite an addition. I'll run through real quick just a few things. We had our monthly luncheon yesterday. You've probably already seen a recap on social media, but if not, uh, uh, Jeff Luttrell, the director of schools, was uh, gave us a state of education and uh, thought he did a fantastic job, you know, with uh, – what, 20,000, over 20,000 students, probably 2,000 employees. There's always going to be, um, you know, we're not going to make everybody happy all the time. But from his remarks, I got to think that we're in pretty good hands. Um, the things that maybe need a little work, I think they're well aware of mm -hmm. and putting things in place. And for the first time in a long time, they're getting very close to having um, every bus route covered, which oh, wow. is monumental compared to where it was just a couple of short years ago. So, Everybody that's involved in that, uh, uh, maybe you're just a participant, put a student, uh, a child on a bus. Uh, um, it really is going to take everybody. So thank you for your patience. But, but I think uh, I was very impressed with um, the achievements and the milestones that our students are hitting in Wilson County. Uh, Wilson, he mentioned the uh, West Wilson Middle School progressing very nicely. As um, we can see every day. Yeah, you see it every day, and they're getting closer and closer. So um, his remarks were... Um, no matter what you've heard, if it's done on a Friday, we're moving in on Monday. You know, I don't think there's going to be any delays, so yeah. I don't blame them. Boy, there's uh, a lot of people whose lives have been very disrupted, so yeah. hang in there just a little bit longer. Um, if you don't already know, tomorrow, September 22nd, is going to be the kickoff for Mayor Huddo's latest initiative in Wilson County called Wilson County Kind. We've mentioned a little bit about that. I won't take up too much time here, but Wilson County Kind Basically, be nice. Um, look for people doing good things. Do good things. Capture those moments and continue to help make this the kind of place where that is the norm and not the exception. So uh, yeah. probably that's that's going to be a long, long-term thing. Hopefully, it'll change. Uh, uh, it'll be our culture, continue to be our culture. So be excited about that. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Uh, we've got dozens and dozens of folks who have stepped up to help make our golf tournament next Tuesday on September 26th, uh, a, a tremendous success. And uh, we, we really couldn't do it. That's our only fundraiser a year. So the chamber is very appreciative of all that. If you want to meet the county mayor or representative from the mayor's office, they're in our office typically 10 months out of the year, January through October. Um, on the last Wednesday of the month, um, it's open to the public. You're welcome. He's here 45 minutes or an hour. Saves you drive into the courthouse in Lebanon get to meet him personally or a member of his staff. We'll be doing that on the 27th of September. We'll do it one more time in October, and then in November and December, the way the holidays fall, we don't do it uh, those two months. So uh, the next one will be uh, next, gosh, next week, the 27th. It just... What's going on here? Full calendar, yeah, Mark. it is. <laughs> Um, if you're in the nonprofit world, um, we have a nonprofit leadership council that is doing great things, and they're meeting on the 5th, um, and we have a ribbon cutting on the 6th. So uh, let's, uh, let's get a little bit of an update yeah. on a couple of big ones. You know, the, uh, of course, as we know, uh, BJ's, Costco, Rooms to Go, those are, those are big for us, and uh, Costco's probably, uh, I know, uh, we heard from the folks from Grade A Construction yesterday that they're going to be doing the, the uh, some of the site work out there mm -hmm. underground for them. So excited about that. It's going to have a huge, huge impact on uh, Mount Julia, didn't it? 
Oh, yeah, putting it mildly, yeah. it will have a very huge impact on Mount Juliet, not only uh, for the city services uh, when it comes to sales tax, but also really the convenience that it's going to provide uh, people that won't have to travel to a uh, Murfreesboro or a Nashville or a, wherever you go uh, to get your Costco wholesale goods. Uh, for anybody that's new to Mount Juliet, this is going to Legacy Point where Golden Bear meets 40. Uh, the site plans, the latest, we know that they have been officially approved by the city. Uh, they're going to have a groundbreaking sometime in September, the latest I've heard, and uh, working 24-7 to get this done uh, by May 8th, they hope. And when I say 24-7, I don't use that loosely. They have been given permission to work on this site to get it up as soon as possible. Uh, not everybody is granted permission like that. That just talks about the major league dealer that we're working with here with Costco. And, and really, we're doing that because of the city services and what that will provide the city uh, when it comes to sales tax, which we know our city manager, Kenny Martin, is all about. And, and Mount Julius continued to do a really good job uh, since COVID of shopping local. And this is going to ring true for that as well. You know, you got bills to pay. You can do it with property tax or sales tax. And the more sales tax we can bring in, the less property taxes our residents and businesses have to pay. So shopping local matters. Shopping local matters, absolutely. I think you'll hear that one at least one more time before we're done today. If okay? I'm doing my job, you will. <laughs> if I'm doing mine, if I'm doing mine. We also got a, uh, uh, we're getting close with uh, BJ's. Yes, sir. Uh, hearing about a Black Friday finish, they had to relocate some natural gas, but uh, I mean, that, that property over there looks great. They are, I mean, it's like the middle school. They are, they are adding to that thing every single week. And publicly, as I wanted to share, as I do at the community development meeting, the city of Mount Juliet is as excited about BJ's Wholesale as they are Costco. They go hand in hand. Uh, they really show the evolution and growth of this city and what we're able to attract here. So uh, those two coming online at around the same time, man, I'm telling you, it is music to the commission's ears, the mayor as well, the city manager. It's, it's going to be a game changer for the city for sure. You know, if you can see uh, behind me the slide on TV, um, you see BJ's going up there, and that photograph is probably at least 60 days old. But yeah. In the upper left of that uh, screen is the new, sub or new apartments back there called the Enclave part of the Providence Central development off of the new road that they cut through it goes over to Central Pike. Um, if you know anybody that's looking for an apartment in Mount Juliet, um, it's, it, they were, I went over there I guess yesterday. You've been Tuesday, raving about it ever since. Boy oh boy that, uh, you just think that the last one was nice and then they come in and do something like this but that is spectacular and if people are open-minded I believe most people it, it's a, it could change your perception of what for rent living looks like. Um, clearly they're doing it by choice mm -hmm. and it is a different lifestyle, but fabulous over there. And uh, I think that a lot of people don't understand that residents are taxed at 25% of the assessed value. Apartments are taxed at 40% because apartments are taxed at the commercial rate, not the residential rate. So the math works out. Pretty good for Mount Juliet on that when it comes to yeah. property tax. So, Need a healthy uh, balance for yeah, sure. That's well, I think so. And uh, boy, here's one that a lot of folks are uh, excited about. Um, can you give us an update on Andy's? Yeah, Andy's has uh, got a really good menu. The last uh, I tried it, it still tasted really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it's hopefully coming uh, to Mount Juliet. Mark Limeberry uh, provided me this update with uh, Andy's frozen custard. And you can see the beautiful picture right here and how um, you'll these taking your kids and spending a lot of money here. Uh, they finished their pre-application process uh, with our planning director and hopefully uh, they're going to be on the poli uh, politically correct. I said that during planning the commission. commission. The planning commission agenda uh, next in October. So the wheels are moving on that and hopefully we can get that in, in Mount Juliet sooner than later. Just in time for summer next That's year. That's what I was thinking When everybody's going to want it. Oh my gosh. So uh, Right out here in front of the chamber office on the northeast corner of Division and Mount Juliet Road on that vacant lot by Local Joe's, um, Ken Powers and his team are building a, a little complex there anchored by First Bank with um, Cineholic. You can see in the slide, it looks sinful to me, but uh, I see two, four, six, eight. There's about 12,000 calories in that picture, if I'm not mistaken. It but, does. Uh, uh, and then... Um, Starbucks as well, mm -hmm. right right there on that corner. 
and uh, then there's room for maybe two more depend on the size one could take both spots but uh, so that whole corner is going to come alive and I'm sure many of you watching have also driven up North Mount Juliet Road maybe just as the sun's getting ready to go down and um, you cross over the railroad tracks and what Judd Sellers has created with the Christmas place and, and Sellers Station there are people sitting out at, uh, at Pelicans and Duncans and Jersey and Baskin right. Robbins and it just family activity and those are things that we didn't have just a few short years ago and so uh, um, I want to never miss a chance to thank Judd for his vision and uh, creating a you know it's what's it just keeps getting better all the time right I'm there. sure his ears are ringing right now as you say that hey. I, I like to give him a hard time but Judd Sellers man I tell you we can't give him enough praise yeah. for how good it looks and how family oriented it is over there maniacs is opening this month he said I need to give them some puffs so Judd, I hope you're watching this. Also, two more tenants are going to be able to yeah. fit over there in a new building. So yeah. uh, it's only getting started over there. You know, there. it's first class. The lawn over there, the landscaping, the uh, the architecture, um, it's uh, the signage, you just name it. I mean, it's a, everything is just classy over there. Wherever you're Judd building Sellers. something in Mount Juliet, that's just how it's going to be. And yeah. uh, I, I believe people notice. And uh, for those of you that continue to invest in our community, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Um, this is a business that's... Uh, being proposed on the north end, um, Nicoletto's. Um, I've never been to a Nicoletto's. We talked about it last month, mm -hmm. and I assume that's still working through the pipeline. Yes, their pre-application process is done uh, with Jennifer Hamlin, our planning director, and they are going to be on the planning commission agenda, just like Andy's frozen custard, uh, next in the month of October. Hoping to go in front of the center where Tidwell's and Benneke Nails are on North Mount Juliet Road, okay. if you know where that is, uh, right across from uh, the Urgent Care, um, I believe mill. that is, mm -hmm. at the paper mill. So, yep. again, you, you want to shop local. You want to have different things to have here in Mount Juliet. People are listening. Developers are listening and trying to bring that to you. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is support that when it arrives. we got a couple of more projects, uh, concepts. They're going, moving along, and I know we had talked about these uh, up there where... Um, Meb Court uh, by in the Burger King area right. up there. Um, Mark Lineberry and his team have a kind of a vision for what that could look mm -hmm. like. And I know there's always a it's kind of a moving target a little bit, but still on track with a skating rink and an open area and amphitheater and then Chipotle, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And, and Kiki's, Kiki's as well. Um, and the, the tap room. Yeah, that's tap correct. Room the tap room. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we'll try to keep you updated on those. Uh, and I, Limeberry's a, a big visionary. I know it's it's going to be popping regardless, one way or the other. Well, that's all right. But it, uh, you know, sometimes not everything that you know gets proposed and starts out actually sees it all the way through. But uh, it's pretty expensive to get to that point. So most folks are, they don't just running up the flagpole to see if it's going to stick. I mean, they got some skin in the game, and they're invested in this right now. So um, some tweaks along the way as more people provide input into it and make sure everything fits into the bigger plan. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll keep an eye on these projects, okay? Absolutely. Just a few more before we wrap up. Um, the uh, This is kind of mind-boggling but uh, to, to some people, but we've had 137 new business licenses year-to-date already through mm -hmm. the end of August, which is tracking pretty similar to, to recent years. Uh, and some, some, if we get to, too consumed by outside news and all that, the sky is falling. Oh, my gosh, the economy, you know, whatever. But uh, Mount Juliet, West Wilson County still continues to be a place where people want to invest their capital out here. And our residents um, seem to appreciate it, and they're supporting them, and that brings more good ones. So Absolutely. You know, um, one thing that's... The sky's not falling in Mount Juliet. No, it's not. Um the, uh, they put a big sign up at the on the northeast corner of Golden Bear and Mount Ju or um, I forty, the Motorsports, mm -hmm. seventy thousand square feet, folks. That's a big building right there. I don't know what their building plans are. I've I've heard more recently lately about yeah. it than than I have in probably my two years since I've been here. Um, but I think that they are, are submitting to the city, trying to get all that approved and. Um, will be a giant when it arrives for sure, and, and certainly get a lot of attention. We'll we'll try to we'll try to share a little bit more uh, yeah. 
up, give you a better update on that uh, next month. How's that? Absolutely. Play It Again Sports, Five Below, Fred Astaire Dance Studio. Those are some of them that uh, we mentioned the last time, and they're all either open or getting close. Yes, sir. Um, we mentioned Maniac's Chicken. Um, the um, Normally, I don't throw a curve at Justin. Bring we it. talk about it ahead of time. Bring it. I'm going to stay, but, uh, folks stay back, try uh, to hit it the opposite way. Kangaroo Market on um, Lebanon Road at the entrance to Park Glen. Overnight, it seemed like the pumps were all gone. They emptied the building. Next day, equipment shows up. They had gravel dropped in there, and they removed the fuel tanks. Any yeah. idea what's going on in Kangaroo Market? All right, you're leaving this curveball hanging. Okay. I'm, I'm going to knock it out of the park. We just drove by, honestly, me and the city manager, okay. uh, and noticed that it's, it's not going to be a gas station. Yeah. Not sure exactly what it's going to be, but... The, the gas pumps are removed, and uh, clearly it has all signs saying it's not going to be a yeah. gas station anymore. So I uh, can confirm that, but I don't know what exactly it's going to be there. But uh, okay, next time, throw me a knuckleball. Yeah, maybe I'm I'm sorry about one. that. Hey, I don't know either. I was hoping you could uh, maybe we'll get two pieces of breaking news next month. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll write that into the contract. You, you know, uh, the folks that worked, uh, that was a city designed, city, city constructed. I know Grade A had construction. But the slip slip lane at uh, going east when you on Division Street just past Golden Bear or just leading up to Golden Bear at Bender's Ferry, I have to tell you, I see it many times. That that's uh, that's making a difference. Absolutely, I think it's making a difference, and uh, it's kind of surprising that one little lane to the right could have such an impact on the traffic. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, and I think everybody knows that's sort of a short term fix until the road is widened, but. Right. I'm, um, on behalf of people who have to use that intersection, way to go, city. Mm -hmm. We uh, use grant funds for that and some city funds for that, so um, really <coughs> lighten the burden on the taxpayer for that. Ray Justice, Commissioner for District 1, has been fighting for that for the last 10 years. He's going to use that energy and more now to fight for that all of Lebanon yeah. Road to be widened uh, near that intersection. So uh, great things coming there as well. Well, you know, and sometimes a slip lane like that can have such an, an impact on so many people and just change their lives for a few minutes. You know, mm -hmm. maybe it's five or ten minutes, four days a week that you're not sitting there. Well, now you've got 45 minutes that you can spend with your kids or volunteer at the Little League Park or guys just make it home in time for supper or yeah. something. Or not so, lose your joy like you used to. That's so. right. Yeah, we so, all do it in traffic. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, but a lot of people worked hard on that, and, and thank you very much. And, uh, um I hope you find it beneficial too. We'll continue with just a few other quick updates before we wrap up, but uh, Camel Car Wash and Whataburger are getting close. They are, they're putting some side down today as of 20 minutes ago when we recorded this video. It's looking really good. So honestly, I, I think both of those very well could be open uh, before we shoot another video. So uh, you'll, you'll see my weight gain of 20 pounds mm -hmm. when Whataburger opens because it's walking distance from City Hall. So, uh, That'll be your evidence that Whataburger's open. And you know, whether you go to Whataburger or have your car washed, um, others will if you don't. Maybe you'll be there every day. But the, the improvements that they have to make to bring a property up to codes and to standards. You wouldn't believe. Goodness gracious. I mean, whether you like a car wash or whether you like a restaurant, it is, they're making them do it right. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be very nice. And, uh, um, you know, I've, as long as they can keep the right in and right out and the traffic going, I think people are going to be satisfied. But uh, um, Houston's Market, I know Chris is doing a little expansion over there mm -hmm. at the market and uh, actually working a, a little retail center um, through the Planning Commission as well, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes, sir. Uh, we mentioned West Wilson Middle School. If uh, you were a fan of Wind Tree Golf Course and never thought that it would turn into anything nice or uh, were still in a state of depression because you didn't have a place to play golf. They actually have houses for sale in Wind Tree Pines. Uh, that's kind of off of a lot of people's beaten path. They don't might not go out there, but um, if you haven't been out to the marina or don't uh, go up Nonaville Road, uh, Wind Tree Pines is coming along and um, those are nice houses. Are they? Like, yes. Wouldn't you know that one street is pin high? Oh, yeah, pin okay. high street. That's yeah. the first street sign I saw out there. So, uh, <laughs> um, but again, that's uh, you know more property tax and uh, um, choices for people. Mm -hmm. And as folks on the north end 
residents uh, grow out there, there's going to be a demand for more services. And I think we're already seeing some people answer that call. Mm -hmm. uh, just a couple more things. Touch on the what I heard is the largest sewer improvement project in the history of Mount Juliet. Is that correct? Um, I th could by the time it's all said and yeah. done, very well could be. What, uh, real quick, what's that? Where, do you know anything about that, what they're doing with the sewer? I know it's over here by Page, and uh, uh, I assume it's probably, what, Stoner Creek? Right. Uh, I, I don't keep up with sewer a ton. I, okay. You might know later information than I do. I just know that Mount Juliet is spending a fortune upgrading their sewer system. Yes, absolutely, and, it, and it's it's very much needed. Yeah. Again, adds to the city resources that the city is always mm -hmm. trying to provide. Um, but yeah, a lot of money going towards that and infrastructure. So um, I'm a fan of hyperbole. So let's say it's the largest sewer project. Very good. It just sounds better. At like the rate that. of inflation and how long it yes. takes, it probably yeah. could be. Yeah, right? gotta be so right. I have one more thing that a lot of folks have wondered: What is that beautiful building they're building by the community um, help center? Mm -hmm. um, the Little Sunshine Playhouse. It's going to be a very welcome addition to the north end of town. Absolutely. Looks like it's going to be a really nice looking building too. Yes, a lot of people have asked about it. Not sure exactly when that data is going to be done, no, I don't know um, but uh, I mean, they have, they'll bring a lot of excitement and uh, be a welcome addition to our community for sure. I don't have anything else if you don't. I don't think so. I think we hit it all. All right. I think we Just, hit it all. Thank you, Mr.